On the dish this morning, Columbia. Not the country, but the oldest restaurant in Florida. And for regulars, a national treasure. Columbia is a blend of Cuban, Spanish, Sicilian, even a bit of German that's been going strong for more than 100 years. Through wars, pandemics, and economic upheavals, the same family has expanded and evolved the restaurant. Now in its fifth generation of leadership, an American success story with global roots. What is it about Colombia that keeps people coming back? Well, it's the story of a family that immigrated from Cuba and from Spain with a dream. The dream began just after the turn of the last century. Cuban immigrant Casimiro Hernandez was looking to fill the bellies of workers going back and forth to cigar factories in Tampa Bay's historic Ybor City. During the Great Depression, his son built the first air-conditioned dining room in Tampa. In the 50s and 60s, when Ybor City was dying, Columbia kept it alive. Post-war, the business expanded to Sarasota to the south and in the 1980s, St. Augustine to the east. Led by Richard Gonsmart, fourth generation at Columbia, and now his daughter, Andrea, fifth. We actually live just next door to one another. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. We don't get enough of each other at work, so we have to live next door to each other. She'll, she'll come over at 5 in the morning, we'll start talking, and we'll go on a walk, and at nighttime, we'll go back and forth. Andrea Gunsmart started working at Columbia at age 10. Richard says he's been thinking about running a restaurant since he was three and a half. He still does, from the moment he wakes up, not too long after the crack of midnight. I love that, that moment, you know, from 1.30 or 3 in the morning. 1.30? 1.30 in the morning, yeah. It's a good time to wake up. And that's when you're looking at the industry, planning out? I'm reading what's happening in the world and the industry and understand to predict what's going to take place. Be prepared for and the challenges. you never challenges. get tired of that? God, that's what I live for. He eats, sleeps, and breathes the restaurant business. That's all I know. Richard, now 68, refers to himself not as president or CEO of Columbia, but caretaker. In the last year, he's also added a Sicilian restaurant in Ybor City and now operates a total of 14 restaurants under six brands. He's still pushing and opening new restaurants. He's an animal. <laughs> <laughs> He claims sure. he's trying to pass the baton, but he's running too fast for me. Did you tell him to calm down, or do you just let, let, him, let, the, let him go? I ride the wave. I love it. I'm always right behind him on all of his crazy ideas. There's a lot to get done. That's crazy. <laughs> Among Colombia's staples, a Cuban sandwich that they proudly proclaim predates anything served in the nation's most populous Cuban locale, Miami. The most important part of beginning a Cuban sandwich is starting with great Cuban bread. It is served to Richard's exacting instructions. My father says it's important that you go in this exact order. Okay. Otherwise, when it hits your palate, it's not going to taste the same. So we're going to start with the ham. Okay. And each of these layers symbolize the people who came to Ybor City in the turn of the century. So this represents the Spaniards that came. Obviously, the Cuban bread represents the Cuban. Yes. OK. <laughs> but our next layer is also going to represent the Cubans. It's the mojo marinated roast pork. There's a ritual to it. <laughs> right? I mean, it's... It's almost therapeutic. Yeah. We use only the salami imported from Italy that's got the peppercorns in it. And this represents the Sicilians who came to Ybor City. And now we're going on to the Swiss cheese which I always say this almost represents Ybor City because it was truly the melting pot of all of these different cultures coming together. So when you put it on the press, or if you don't put it on the press, it tops it all and marries them all together. It's hard to find a more inclusive dish. Yeah, right? <laughs> the Colombia Cuban is topped off with a single thin layer of mustard, a nod to Germany, and always exactly two pickles. Follow the simple recipe and you get something exceptional. Or you just like mess it up from the start. Did I do it? Oh, shoot. Hello. Now you've got an upside down Cuban. I do! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a special sort of Cuban. Like it my. It's an upside down Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> my 
The Cuban sandwich preparation was just a prelude to the wider spread. Each one of these dishes, you could write a book on the history behind it. Almost, yes. Our table included Colombia's legendary 1905, a julienne-style salad always prepared tableside. Pompano in papayote, seafood baked in a parchment crust, pollo manchego, crab croquettes, and in the middle of it all... The completa cubana, the complete Cuban, it tells you a taste of what I remember Cuba, the roast pork, marinated in the mojo, the boliche, which is the eye round with the chorizo and the gravy, the empanada picadillo, the fried plantains, yuca, which is a root with a garlic, and the black beans and rice with the onions. The black beans are the way we did, totally vegetarian. The paella valenciana, um, our, our rice comes from uh, Murcia from the south. It's the way I would have had it when I visit Spain. For desserts, flan, along with an irresistible white chocolate bread pudding. Just some of the food and family that have kept people coming back for more than 117 years. What do you think your dad would think of how you've taken care of the restaurant and what you've turned it into? My father had a lot of dreams. I have a picture of him when he was a little boy. He was a violinist, and he didn't get to do many of the things he wanted to. I fulfilled every dream he ever had. And so I feel my dad would be very proud. Wow. He's an emotional guy and such a successful guy and cares so much about this restaurant, never wants to sell. And one of the great things about Columbia, beyond the food and the atmosphere, everything else, you go in and you talk to the people who work there. Yeah. You ask them how long you worked here for. 30 years. 20 years. It says everything. 30 years. Yeah. It's all family. Yeah. And they just keep people around. Because they that's, treat them right. That's why. Yes. They treat them like family. They treat them like family. Yeah. That food looks so good. It this was, and this, and this, and this drink, drink looks so good. good. I'm sorry we couldn't bring all of it up from Florida, but we've that's got the That's OK. Here. Got Here. special. Columbia the Sangria table, mix with a custom-made pitcher here. Ooh. Mm. Gonna spill the garnish. Mm.